Interactive supercomputing at Lincoln Laboratory um, has had a long and storied uh, tradition, uh, going all the way back to TX0, which eventually became Digital Equipment Corporation, um, the Genesis system uh, on TX2. And what these technologies pioneered was just the ability to, to work interactively with a computer at all. Um, we now experience that on a daily basis with um, you know, our phones and our laptops and our tablets. But for engineers and scientists, there's always been a need to do more. Engineers and scientists um, push the boundary of what is known, push, push uh, uh, the boundary of what is possible, and that requires them to be able to analyze uh, larger data sets, do more complicated algorithms. And so the Lincoln Laboratory Supercomputing Center has always been a pioneer in that type of computing, taking what people have uh, in front of them on their, on, their, on, their de on their desktops and on their tablets and their laptops and giving them access to computing capability that is interactive but just vastly more powerful than what they normally can do. So the Lincoln Laboratory Supercomputing S Center is chartered to enable all the missions at Lincoln Laboratory. Um, but there's three areas that have become a real focus uh, recently because of their ability to exploit interactive supercomputing. Um, those areas are machine learning, um, uh, autonomous systems, and um, devices, uh, new device uh, physics, new device simulations.